Hello, it's Nancy today. So today we are in downtown Ottawa. I am parked. I have a few questions. One question is, if you get one of these at a certain place with one of those parking things on the sidewalk, you have to go and pay for your parking there. If you get one of these at one place and it has not yet expired before you leave, is it any good at another place? You see, it has this number on it here. I think that's the number I'm thinking of, yes. And I'm I'm not sure, but I think that may be the box number that says where you're parking. But I just paid five cents, no, 25 cents for every five minutes. So it was $3 for an hour, which is not as unreasonable as it could have been. And that's a dollar fifty per half hour, which is pretty normal. Sometimes it's two dollars per half hour. So I guess it was not as much as I thought it was. Anyway, but I I drove somewhere else downtown, only a block or two away, and since I had another fifteen minutes left, I went out to dinner with my son, lunch with my son. I left it on the dashboard. And so I wasn't sure if it was if I would get a ticket for doing that because it wasn't the right number. Even though it says the right date and I was still within the time. Anyway, that was interesting. So I ended up in town. I went to I Apple this morning. I had an Apple appointment. And I went there to see if I could find out about my iPod. I have this iPod that I just love. It's an iPod 4. It's not a phone. It's just an iPod. And it's small and compact. But at one time it had broken. And I needed one. I mean, I didn't need one, but I wanted one. So I went out and I got another one, which was had more memory on it. And it's missing. Oh, you're on it. <laughs> anyway, so that one has a lot more memory for videos, which is okay. But it's it's longer, and I really don't like it so much. So this one started freezing up all the time. It would freeze, and I couldn't upload what I had on it. And you know, there, you know, you don't need one that's frozen. The operating system. Which we, anyway, I came in here, had an appointment. I came in the other day on Monday, and they didn't have an appointment. You couldn't come in and just see them. You had to have an appointment. And they didn't have an appointment. So I had to come back on Wednesday. I already had to come in on Tuesday for something else. I came in Wednesday to pick up my lap, Monday to pick up my laptop, Tuesday for somebody's appointment. And so here I am back again Wednesday. It costs about $20 a day to come in here, you know. Anyway, so here I am, and since I have an appointment at 6, I have to spend the whole day here. So here I am for the whole day. So I went to Apple this morning, and I was 10 minutes late. I drove kind of fast. And then um, I went to lunch with my son, and then I, I found an independent grocery store where they had a parking lot so I could pull in and park underneath it and go grocery sh stop grocery shopping most everybody that was in the grocery store were buying very few things I think that this is a lot of single people that live downtown or something I know there are others that live out downtown there's a there's a apartment complex right there condominiums I guess did you know, they said on the news that people are buying houses which are not as much for your money, but because they are um, close to transit, people don't want to have to take their cars everywhere. That's kind of a nice trend. Anyway, so what I was going to tell you about was when I came out of the parking lot, I was sitting there in the driveway looking, and it was free parking. I, I looked both ways and I was trying to figure out which way to go and I realized that if you look at the people 
that are walking down and the sun shining on them. The sun is not making, the sun is not as bright as it used to be, like all summer. It was quite a wonderful, give us a beautiful orange glow or a yellow glow. And now it's not so strong, it's kind of bluey. It's interesting, I'll, I'll let you look at the sun. I know you want to look at the sun. And I know that the camera... <laughs> it adjusts for brightness anyway, so it's not going to really show you. But to me, it's much dimmer. It's much... I thought it was behind a cloud, actually. I thought it was behind a dim cloud, but now I see it's not behind a cloud at all. Isn't that interesting? I know that there's a time in February or March. Probably in March. Well, maybe February. When the... Well, March. Anyway, the sun gets a different quality. It, it becomes stronger. The colors are different. It really looks like it's kind of a cloudy day today. And yet it's not. It's just the same. Isn't that interesting? I just thought I'd better share that because, you know... You need to know everything that's in my mind at all times, right? Anyway, so there you have it. The daily vlog. So now, I think I will go to a very nice place. Um, it's a place on the river. I kind of like to hang out on the river. You know, somebody said in one of their video, in one of their comments to me, that my house was far away from other houses. And therefore, wasn't it boring because I didn't have other houses around? You know, I've lived where there are other houses right nearby. And most of those houses are empty all day because people go to work. And it was sort of a bedroom community. So there were nobody home. If you wanted to go somewhere where there were a lot of people around, really, this is exactly where to be. It's right now in this car, sitting on the side of the road, downtown. So there are a lot of people walking back and forth downtown on Bank Street in Ottawa. <sighs> anyway, it's interesting about the brightness. It affects your moods, the amount of light. It's very easy to sunbathe now. You can lie in the sun for a long time and not, not get too hot, not feel it burning you or anything. It's amazing how dim everybody looks. The lighting is just different now. I should say that 300 times and then I'll get it in my head. Then I will be done saying it. I'll never have to say it again. But my goodness, the lighting is certainly different. All right, well, are you happy today? If you chance to meet a frown, do not let it stay. Quickly turn it upside down and smile that frown away. No one likes a frowning face. Change it for a smile. Make the world a better place by smiling all the while. Okay, so I guess I gotta turn you off and then I'm on my way. I'm gonna go to the river, I think. Oh, I know what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna see if John Caprano's rock structures are there. I love his rock structures. Okay, bye-bye.